Hello and good afternoon YouTube and good afternoon to all you Andy's tech heads and welcome to today's video where we are going to undervolt our GPU. Yes, that's right, undervolt our GPU, not overclock our GPU. Uh, there's a few reasons why you should do this uh, and the main reason is once your graphic card starts to hit the higher temps like late 70s 80 degrees celsius your graphics card will start to thermal throttle uh, this will lose performance as the core clock will clock down and you will lose fps in games uh, it also will reduce your temperatures a lot as i've just said and it will reduce the power consumption of your gpu also which will also lower the draw on your power supply and it will reduce your energy bills uh, the one reason we do this is you can do all of those things as mentioned and you will not lose any performance so it's a no-brainer really okay so without further ado let's jump into the video so today we're going to need two programs they're both free programs free to download and one is msi afterburner now i do apologize in advance i call it mizzy i'm dyslexic and that is just the way it comes out of my mouth but i do know it is msi so before that person that is going to point out in the comment section below that it's not mizzy i know that but thank you um also we're going to need the he eugene heaven benchmark so with both of these downloaded we first off we need to run a benchmark as a baseline score and we need to do that to get our maximum operating temperature and our maximum core clock. So we're going to go into the settings, we want to go into monitoring, monitoring, sorry, and you want to go to GPU temperature, make sure that is selected, the GPU usage, make sure that is selected, core clock and GPU power. So with those four things selected you want to click apply and click close. Also, your interface may look a little different to mine. This is just the skin I chose, um, as I like it, but the standard one is a bit different. So with those things selected, we then want to jump into a benchmark and to gain, we will then gain a baseline and see what we can improve on that. So I'm going to run a bit of a time lapse now while this runs. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, our benchmark has returned a score. Our FPS is 159.3. Our core clock is running at 1911 megahertz. We had a maximum power draw of about 184.6 watts. And our GPU temperature is running at 65 degrees. So that's our baseline. So if we close uh, Eugene Heaven benchmark, we can then go back into afterburner and run our underclock okay so first off you want to go down to this thing here it's called the curve editor and you want to bring up this uh, box here now on the left we have the frequency in megahertz and underneath we have the voltage in millivolts so you want to find our maximum core clock which was 1911 so if we go along this graph that's it there and now you want to go to the core clock here and you want to type in minus 250 and push enter. This will then bring this down. So now we want to underclock the GPU, undervolt the GPU, sorry. So we want to start, we really want to go about a thousand. So we really want to go about a thousand millivolts. So if we go to 900 here, and we click on this little box and we bring that all the way up to our 1911. You can also use shift just to get the exact number. And then we want to push OK. And there we are, we have it. We have our, uh, our undervolt. We've undervolted the card by 100 millivolts. Now once you've, I would say start off at 100. Uh, generally most cards will take 100 millivolt uh, undervolt. And then you can go further, you can reduce it by 25 millivolts at a time until the card crashes, at which point you want to go back up. But if you're happy with that, it will certainly be a big improvement over what you were running before. And uh, honestly, don't worry about your card crashing or the system crashing. If it does crash, you can just simply restart your computer and it will all be reset. There's no real... Uh, uh, there's no real worry of damaging any components in this or anything like that. It's completely safe. Uh, so with that selected and that set, 
We then want to go back into our benchmark and we want to run another benchmark uh, run and see what improvement we've got. So let's do that now. Okay, folks, so there we have it. That's our Undervolt benchmark run completed. And uh, yeah, we've got a nice little Undervolt there going on. Uh, our FPS now is 154.5. It's a couple of FPS down, but I have noticed our core clock has dropped a little bit. So you may want to just go back and adjust this up 25 megahertz just to bring that back up again. Sometimes that happens. But our temperatures have dropped from 65 degrees celsius to 59 verging on 60 and our power draw is down to about 133 watts maximum so that's almost 50 watts down in power consumption which is pretty amazing really we're running a gtx 1070 at about 128 watts on average 125 watts so there we have it folks that is a simple guide on how to undervolt your gpu uh, and that brings us to the end of the video today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave a like or a comment down below to help support the channel. Uh, if you're a serious undervolting enthusiast and I've made a, a fatal error on this video, please do let me know in the comments down below as well. I'm just an enthusiast and I'm just trying to share my experience on undervolting and how I do it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Maybe consider joining our Discord community. You can always buy me a coffee if you want to support the channel that way. All the links are in the description below. Uh, hopefully I will see you in the next one. Take care, God bless and see you soon.